do a couple of different tunes then. I just wanted to know before we get started. Thank you for coming out. It's so great to be back in Seattle. I can't tell you, you know, the last two and a half years really, really changed our perspective. I'm sure it did yours too. And we are so grateful to be back here with you playing again. It was really uh, weird not to be, you know, out, out and about and playing for two and a half years, that was a long time. So we're really excited to be here and we're gonna rip the roof off this joint tonight. You ready? Let's go.
tune, you gotta let it roll on.
stuff is kind of like planting a garden and when you do that uh, it, it grows and then time goes by and you know the garden starts changing so we're working on all these tunes and I hope you dug that little new version of Fly Like the Wind. Yeah. Yeah. exactly like the one from 1976. You know I mean? All right then. Well, uh, Les Paul was my godfather, it's true. And I was very lucky to Because when I was uh, about four years old, he taught me my first chords. And, um, you know, he, he was in my life all the time, and I saw how he made records, and I saw how, you know, Mary Ford sang three part harmonies with herself, you know, they did multi track tape recording. That was all brand new stuff when he was doing it. I didn't know it was brand new, and I didn't know later what a genius he was, but. Uh, he was really a great guy, but there was just one thing. He never gave me a Les Paul guitar. <laughs> and I'd go over to his house, and he lived in New Jersey. And it's a really cool, cool, cool house. And uh, he had uh, a very nice front door. It was, it was designed by Frank Lloyd Wright, I think. It was really out there. It was a really great house. Very nice modern entrance, and then right next to it, there was a little curved door that was about this high. It said "Musicians' Entrance." <laughs> really, that's so nice. So I finally went out and got got myself a Les Paul. This is it, and uh, I'm gonna play it for you now and, and see if you can tell the difference between the Les Paul sound and the Fender sound. They they are different. They're, they're really cool. And I'm gonna dedicate this to Les Paul. Who's Somewhere up there in the big room with Jimi Hendrix and Stevie yeah. Ray Vaughan and B.B. Yeah. King and Freddie yeah. King and Albert Collins yeah. and Lightning Hopkins and T-Bone Walker and uh, Robert Johnson. And, I mean, all these guys up in the big room. So we're going to dedicate this to them on the Les Paul guitar. It's called Big O Jet Airline. Oh. Yes.
My grandma, she's ninety-two. She loves to sing and dance some too. I don't know, but I've been told if you keep on dancing, you'll never grow. Come on, darling, with a pretty dress on, we're gonna go out tonight. I'm a summer guy I've been working all week In the noon day sun Woods in the kitchen And the cows in the barn I'm all cleaned up And my toys are all done Take my hand and come along Let's go out and have some fun Come on down With a pretty dress on We're going to go Dance, dance, dance Dance, dance, dance Dance, 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 dance All night long Honey, book your number, you're my heart's delight Don't you wanna go out tonight When you're such a pretty lady, you're such a sweet girl When you dance, it brightens up my world Come on, darling, with a pretty dress on We're gonna go out tonight Dance, dance, dance Dance, dance, dance This guitar, this one more chapter. I bought it in 1965 for 125 bucks. It was in a barrel full of guitars, your choice. It's one of the first instruments I bought, and uh, I kept it all these years and played it. And a few years ago, the Metropolitan Museum called up and asked if they could borrow the guitar for a uh, display, an exhibit they were putting on called Play It Loud. And um, it was a, an exhibit of like, Led Zeppelin's amplifiers and guitars and the Who stuff and uh, you know ZZ Top and Stevie Ray Vaughan everybody everybody was in the in the show and they uh, they asked to borrow this and I said yeah of course and so this little humble guitar ended up for a year at the Metropolitan Museum in a glass case <laughs> next to in the same case Ravi Shankar's real sitar now that. That's the wildest guitar story I know, but anyway, it's a great little guitar, it sounds like this.
down You can only see the stars after the setting sun You run for the money You don't even know about wild man This was uh, recorded in London at Olympic Studios in, I think, 1968 or something. It's a, a song called Cow Cow, Cow Too Late. And this is a little different for those of you who were here last night, you didn't hear this. This is, we threw this in especially for the returnees. All right, this is especially for you. Here we go.
generals were fighting at each end Fighting over whose fault did it be I think now we've climbed to the top of the hill and we can see Swingtown in the distance. Let's go! That's where the uh, Fillmore Auditorium is. And uh, let's do that uh, 
that thing. This is, we didn't do this last night even, so it once again, for those who were here last night, this is for you. This is, this is, uh, you didn't hear this one. This is different. It's called Shibata Do Ma 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 Ma. Crazy little thing from the West Coast. Here we go. <laughs> My bad, here we go. guitar solo on this one. This is a, a little Walter tune. It's called Blues with a Feeling. We're going to give Jake time to get his super hot guitar on. Are you ready, Jake? You got the first. Okay, here we go. Come on. Come on, Jake. 
Side of Swing Town, you ever go to to uh, the jungle? Yes. Jungle, and I never see you alone. 